Well, hello everybody, it's Michaela Bayless from Better Homes and Gardens, and today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 things to do in Northern California. So I was born and raised here, I was born in Walnut Creek, raised in Roseville, and then I attended school in Chico. I went to Chico State, and now I live in Midtown Sacramento, so I know all about Northern California, I've been up and down the coast, and I'm going to be talking about NorCal. I could probably, each of these places, I could probably list top 10 things to do there, but I'm just going to give you guys the highlights for today and the reasons to move here. So I'm going to start with number 10 and work my way down to number one. So we're going to start with number 10, which would be the redwoods. Now keep in mind, the redwoods are gorgeous. So you can drive through these things. These trees are so tall, so big and ginormous. It almost seems unreal. You feel like an ant. My funny how I say that. My aunt actually wants to come to California soon to go see the Redwoods and um, I, wa I want to go with her but keep in mind that is my number 10 because I am a little bit younger so I like the more fast-paced stuff but it's so fun to take little kids to let them run around and just you have to see it at least once in your life. It's, it's like the Grand Canyon. It's incredible. So number nine, I'm going to, I have to throw in Sacramento just because that is our capital. I would highly recommend going to see the capital. Um, if you're into politics, if you're in education, it's great to go to, all that good stuff. I personally am not. So if you're in SAC um, and you're not like that, I would recommend going to see the old SAC waterfront district. There's a ton of cool shops, old shops, really, um, you can get clothing. There's this really cool Halloween shop down there with Halloween clothes and it's three stories and you can go to Joe's Crab Shack and you walk around these decks and these old horse carriages trot around and it's actually pretty cool. They have a really old candy shop that I always love to go to and they have really good caramels. I would get those. Um, Tower Bridge in Sac is also really cool, and of course Rayleigh Field, so that's kind of my all number nine clumped together. Now I'm going to say my number eight is Monterey Bay. I feel like everyone should go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium at least once in their life. It's really cool. Um, the Old Fisherman's Wharf I think is cool too, and I would go to Monterey as my number eight. Let me think. Okay, number seven, so... Santa Cruz, I love going to Santa Cruz. I live about three hours away, two and a half, give and take. Definitely go to the pier. Definitely go check out the shops. You're going to want to get a hotel if you stay there right on the beach, right on the coast where you can just walk down the street at nighttime, grab a slice of pizza, maybe go shopping for a new swimsuit, whatever. The pier is really fun. You take the kids there. You go get ice cream. There's roller coasters. There's games. Lots of fun for a good date or what have you. Number six, so I have to say this just because it is Northern California, you have to go to Chinatown in Sacramento, Cal or not Sacramento, I'm sorry, San Francisco, California. I'm going to kind of clump this together, so SF Bridge, Chinatown, and Alcatraz. Chinatown is basically where a lot of people don't think it's that big of a deal, but I think it's cool if you go once, just kind of check it out. It's a totally different culture. It's like you stepped into a different world. I would highly recommend that. It really opens up your your viewpoint. I'm the type of person where I like to do new things. I like to um, go and experience new things, and I would definitely recommend doing that. Alcatraz is really educational if you like that kind of stuff. Younger kids should learn. They should go. It's basically you walk around. There's this island in San Francisco, and they used to have prisoners there, and the prisoners used to swim to the shore that were on the island back to San Francisco and try to escape. And I guess, I don't know if it's true or not, but my grandpa used to tell me when he took me sharks Come, used to come and eat the prisoners from trying to escape and it's actually really cool I mean I'm not really into that kind of stuff but I actually love this you walk around you see all the jail cells you listen to the headset and it kind of talks to you as you walk around and you can see all the creepy little like old jail cells and all the stories it tells you and you actually get a map and you can run around and check out like check off all the things like a scavenger hunt and it's really fun I'd highly recommend doing that Mission Dolores Park, so keep in mind I am in my 20s, so a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff to do around here. You can go to restaurants, bars, but I like to go to hang out with my friends. The reason why this is my number five is because I just have a lot of good memories there. It's it's basically a park on the top of a hill looking over the city, and a ton of people go there. It's right next to the 
full house houses on the side and it's great for pictures and just hanging out and having a picnic lunch. Number four, I have to say, is SF Union Square. I love to go shopping there during Christmas. It's absolutely gorgeous. They have a ginormous Christmas tree in the front, and I would highly recommend doing that. My number three is Zephyr Cove. So this is gorgeous. This is in, I love the beach. This is actually in Tahoe. So there is, it's mostly, keep in mind, I am younger. So a lot of college kids, a lot of high school kids go here. Um, 20s, if you get a log cabin or just stay at a friend's cabin for the weekend for the 4th of July, Zephyr Cove is so much fun. At Kings Beach, I would also highly recommend if you have kids or if you have more of a family-like atmosphere, still is fun. You do the fireworks over the lake at night and it is just incredible. I would highly recommend that for the 4th. Uh, Tahoe all the way but the one downside about that is it does get so crowded because it is so much fun and there's so much to do so that's definitely something to keep in mind you're gonna hit traffic you're gonna hit the crowds all that stuff think. okay so my number two San Francisco is Pier 39 and this I can spend all day here I just I love the city and I love the pier and you walk up and down there's street performers I mean when you're walking you're like side by side with everyone like just trying to get through there's so many good I love clam chowder and soup and especially because by the pier it gets really cold and um overcast sometimes so if you go and get a nice bowl of soup by the pier it's really good I would recommend the original boudins of course and there's this one I can't remember the name but it's kind of by Pier 39 next to all the seals and you overlook it yeah there's a ton of seals they lay on this raft and everyone goes and looks at them it's actually a lot of fun and yeah I would say just walking around there looking at over the pier maybe go on a boat ride that's always really fun so my top number one, I am a huge ski bum. I love to snowboard. I actually water ski, wakeboard, snowboard, and snow ski, so I'm super athletic. I've always been that way my whole life. I've always loved sports. So Tahoe, I have to say, Squaw Valley, do it big. I do ski in, ski out, and there's no other way I would want it. So, I mean, of course, you can go skiing for cheap at Boreal, maybe do like, I don't know how much their tickets are, like 80 bucks. Squaw Valley, you're going to want to save. Like, this is going to be your trip you're going to go all out on. I mean, ski in, ski out. There's a ton of cool shops, ton of cool coffee shops for the morning, bars for at night. You walk around this little village. And then the best part is you literally ski in and ski out of the hotel. And it is just so gorgeous. It is the best ski resort in Tahoe by far. They held the Olympics there one year and I would highly recommend it. Squaw is a must do if, especially if you're not from California coming to visit, you got to do Squaw. I mean, it's nothing like the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, but it's definitely the best California has to offer as far as skiing goes. So that's all I have for you today, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.